Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 158 of Saranova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Saranova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Saranova Crafts on Instagram. You can find the show notes for today's episode on in the Ravelry group or on my blog. Um, links down below if you're watching on YouTube. I want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day, because I am recording on Valentine's Day, um, and I might actually be able to get this edited um, before I go to work, but I might have to upload when I get home. Um, hope everyone has a good day. I know not everyone really celebrates it. It's technically not even a Jewish holiday, but, you know, I do it more for the romantics, and I have a boyfriend, and, you know, we get each other a couple of gifts, and we went out to dinner last night. Um, instead of last night, instead of going out tonight, when it's going to be super crowded and everything, we went out to dinner last night. Um, but anyways, you guys aren't here for me to talk about my personal life, <laughs> though you do get some of that. Anyways, um, you guys are here because of the knitting. Um, if you are a longtime viewer, you will recognize this room. I am back upstairs at my desk. Um, I'd had the keyboard tray fall out of the desk and I had to have Kevin fix it. So now that it is fixed and um, back in business, I can sit up here again instead of like down on the couch. And actually my lighting's not bad today. I have two lamps on either side of me and then I have a light behind like the computer monitor that's like shining up on the ceiling of the of the room, which the ceiling is literally like right here. Like it's like right there because it's a sloped roof as you can see behind me. Anyways, um, this is, <laughs> I have all my books, like all those shelves. So that's my printer. And then there's all my books there. I have, um, I have four bookshelves here, two on each side of the printer. Um, and then I have more books on the floor that don't fit <laughs> in the printer. Um, and I have my Hufflepuff flag because puff pride for the win. My Hufflepuff flag. And the boxes are just stuff I don't have shelves for yet. I got a filing cabinet so I can actually start to file some of the stuff in those because I didn't have a filing cabinet for the longest time. Anyways, you guys are here about the knitting. Why am I rambling on? I don't know. Um, just wanted to record a quick episode for you guys this week. Um, Kevin has the whole week off, so um, since he fixed the desk and I can like go upstairs and sit, um, I decided to record because he's, you know, home now all the time this week. So, <laughs> um, didn't have like the living room to myself. So, um, but I have made some progress on my the two projects I showed you last time. Um, those are what I've been working on. I haven't touched anything else, so I'm just going to show you the two. Um, but um, I've made some progress. Uh, so the first one is the shawl design I'm working on. Um, so here it is. It's getting a little wide for the needle. As you can see here, it's red and purple. So you can see I was here last week. I've gone all the way down to here, so I've done not quite um, one full section of the pattern. I'm not going to say any more than that because I still need to write up the pattern. Um, the rows are getting long on this, so it's moving a little slower, but I'm hoping... My goal is to finish this by the end of February um, and to get it, you know, to get it off the needles, blocked, and the pattern written up and sent to 100 Ravens um, by the end of the month. So... I have 14 days because it's the 14th and the month ends on the 28th, so I have 14 days to get that done. So we shall see if two weeks is enough. Um, but I am working on that. And then the other thing I'm really working on... What is in this bag? What is in... Sorry, I just looked over in a sundry bag and I'm like, oh, okay, that yarn. Because um, I'm back at my desk and I'm like, wait, what is this? Because I haven't been up here for like weeks because the keyboard tray collapsed. And so it's not that I haven't been up here, right? It's not that I wasn't in this room of the house. It was more I wasn't sitting at my desk looking at the stuff I keep near the desk that, like, I want to remember and stuff, you know? So, like, I have a ton of yarn over here and stuff, you know, just sitting around. Um, and then I've also made project on my mom's hat. Progress on my mom's hat. Not as much as I would have necessarily wanted, but I'm almost on the brim. But the brim needs to be five centimeters, and it's not quite there yet for this pattern. Or at least I don't think it is. Let me measure. Let's see. Are you five centimeters yet? No, you are at eh, four. So I have one more centimeter to go on the brim. Yes, I'm using metric for that because that's what the pattern says, and whatever the measuring tape can do both, so I'll measure in centimeters. So it's five centimeters for the brim, 20 centimeters for the hat, and then um, you do the crown decreases. I think I should weave in the tail. It's a little long. I might weave it in and trim it. Um, just so that I don't have to deal with it anymore. I'm going to move this marker up. I'm using my... Um, it's a little sheep with the outline of New Hampshire. And then it's a little sheep. He's actually a little heavy, so I might swap out the marker I'm using on this. I don't have another one up here. But um, I think I might swap the marker. Because this one's a little heavy for this project. Um, this one's good for like... 
you know, big thick projects, but it's a little heavy for the fingering weight. But if I put it around like the whole stitch, as opposed to like half of the stitch, it seems to be okay. So I think I might just use it that way, just leave it. Um, but it's coming along well. Um, once I get past the brim, because one by one ribbing gets really boring really fast, and the brim and this is one by one ribbing, um, it will get better. Um, in case you were wondering, this yarn is by Yarn in the Box. And it is their Rocky Coast Merino, which is a 100% um, Merino base. So it's not um, it's not good sock yarn because it's not um, it doesn't have any nylon, but it is super washed, so it is machine washable. Um, you know, four ounces, 483 yards, and um, the color is Seal Island. So that's them. That's them. And then the other yarn because it's 100 Ravens, and I talk about them a whole lot on this podcast, if I can zip that shut. It is there. Where's the yarn label? I know there's a yarn label in here. It is there. It's a newer base from them, is this one. It's one of their DK bases, so it is 100 Ravens Vanier. So if you're familiar with Norse mythology, the Aesir and the Vanier should be familiar. This is Vanier. It's 231 yards for 100 grams, 100% uh, merino. I believe it is It is superwash. Again, it's a DK, um, and there's their website. So that seems backwards. Like, this seems... I need to check what's going on with my camera, because if I hold stuff up to you and it's backwards, how can you see it? Um, but I will uh, double-check when I hit play on this what is going on. Hopefully that's not all backwards, and you're not reading it all backwards. But we'll see. Maybe a setting got changed in my camera, and I didn't notice. I need to check. Anyways, um, that's it. This is a short episode. Um, if you're curious what Kevin got me for Valentine's Day, I have it here and I'll show you real quick. Um, I got him Super Mario Odyssey because he um, he had that on his wish list and he seemed really interested in it. We watched Man vs. Game play it on Twitch. Um, so, you know, I'd been talking about needing a darning egg. I didn't have one on my wish list, but Kevin went and found one. So now I have a wooden darning egg. Um, the packaging like completely just fell apart, but it's a pretty heavy duty winning darning eggs, so now I can fix my socks. It's not as smooth as I would have liked, actually. Might have to sand it down a little bit, or at least coat it in, like, another coat of the, um, I think that there's, like, a lacquer or something on here. But, got me a darning egg, and then he got me, um, I'm gonna cover this word, our magnificent bleep tongue, if you, okay, if you don't mind bad language, it's our magnificent bastard tongue. It's all about the history of English. It is The Untold History of English by John McWhorter. So he was also author of The Power of Babel. Um, it's, a, it's a survey of the quirks and quandaries of the English language, focusing on our strange and wonderful grammar. And so the first paragraph of the summary on the back, I'm just going to read it to you. Why do we say, I am reading a book, instead of, I read a book? Why do we say, do, all the time? Delving into our jumbled language, our magnificent bastard tongue distills hundreds of years of fascinating lore into one lively history. So it's all about syntax and grammar of English. And then he also got me a Niffler. Isn't it cute? It's a Niffler. And he's holding a coin, and it's really cute. And yeah. It's a cute little Niffler. He's going to go on my shelf with all the other stuffed animals I have. He's cute. So that's what Kevin got me. So, all right. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Hope you have a good one, and I should be able to record next week without having to, like, you know, sequester myself in a spare room <laughs> because Kevin's home because he's back to work next week. So anyways, hope you guys have a good one. Like, subscribe, comments are all appreciated but not required. Feel free to, feel free to not to. Like I've said before, I'm doing this for me, not for anyone else, but it's always nice to know people watch this. So thanks, have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!